Hi guys, welcome back. So, and also welcome to the Brass Society, because this is the brand of this peculiar bunch of locks. You can see here, they are called Society Brass. I never thought of it, but hell, why not? There's a whole society out there dedicated to brass, which I think is awesome. So, uh, what's this? These are another bunch of uh, locks that I found in the lock shops in Mexico. And I got uh, five double locks uh, from, from there with the reason that uh, our lock picking society here needed more training locks so I decided to donate five of them uh, to, well, to the club so that we have more and these five I will keep and make challenge locks um, I did make the video of, the, of picking up one of these locks uh, but I decided to remake it because uh, I really thought that it's a five pinner and it turns out that it's actually a six pinner so I clearly can't count to count to six. Anyway, this is the one with uh, the most challenging bidding that I encountered compared to all the other uh, ones that are there. I think you can probably make out the bidding on the other ones. They're not the best. Come on camera, please. This one or... They're in general not bad. I, I, I have to do say that they're not in general not bad. So, let's try and open the one with the really looking the most challenging bidding that there is. And afterwards I will get it so that we can see the insides. There are only some pins and I have seen it already a few times but still would be curious. Uh, I do believe that it will make a great challenge lock because the brass really and the machining is quite well made and there are no sharp edges and feedback for beginner locks also when you have uh, only a few pins inside there's enough room on the keyway although uh, looking a little bit restricted uh, still it gives you a chance to actually feel around the lock and play with it with normal more or less straight keyway not that curved so uh, these were pins four and five I also clicked on 6, now I'm going backwards to pin 1 and hopefully the lock will pop in a moment ok so I have definitely missed a pin, let's start again from the back 5, 4 mm, that's 5 uh, 4 missing okay so that that would be number six that I'm missing here five for all my standard pins and all my big talk that they're relatively easy to pick so now they provide me they would want to prove me wrong And there we go, it's open. So I think it was pin number three that needed just a little bit of a nudge. So, lock open. Okay, let's quickly gut it. This brass society, oh, sorry, society brass lock. And let's see what is on the inside. Move this a little bit further away. And let's see. Where is my tool for hurting myself really bad? There we go. The clip is almost out. So this element here. Uh, something interesting, they are actually shielded. This thing, this there's a small plate here that will provide, prevent you, oh, not even one more, that they will prevent you from bypassing the dead bolt. Okay, the second one I can't remove at the moment, but anyway, I actually kind of like this. Uh, this lock is really quite okay. 
So, uh, let's just have a look. Okay, that should work. I hope. Unless something goes horribly wrong. So, there we have it. Six pins, all of them are standard. We'll drop them quickly. So one, two, three, four, five, six. No modifications on the core yet. And let's do the other side. Somewhere. Let me zoom in a little bit so that the camera will stop zooming in and out. Okay, here are the last two pins as well. We'll arrange them a little bit. Very nice machining uh, on the pins also. Here you can see, sorry, here you can see the insides also quite beautiful, I would say. Very nice machining work. Don't know who manufactured actually these, but I am reasonably satisfied. Also the ends of the key pins are tapered, which is, yeah, quite good. Okay guys. Thanks for watching. Once I start making again the challenge vlogs, I will come back and show some of them.